Yeah, I was uh, in my younger years always uh, trying to get something to relate to, like your, your experience, Kevin. I have nothing to relate to, so I was out there really struggling, crying, uh, just seeking. I was a seeker, trying trying to get that something that made sense. I remember like jogging on the field and just crying, kind of like trying to physically, you know, invoke something to respond to me so I'd get some kind of answers. And I did a few things like self-realization, fellowship, and Scientology and Christianity. Nothing really worked for me. So uh, I still had a lot of fear because that's like you said, you know, fear is out there. It's like they're pr they're promoting fear out in the social consciousness, basically. So that's kind of like even like really subconsciously, it's it's promoted out there. It's floating around this fear uh, because you don't really know anything real. So I had a lot of fear because I didn't know anything real. You know, I was not in the realness. The isness, you know, the, this thing that, <clears throat> this reality that just is so, in a way, um, real that um, there's no room for anything else but just the realness of it. So it, it came upon the, the Ekankar for 40 years, and that uh, that was a, a hint, basically. Uh, and I went through a lot there just uh, to get ready for what Dwayne's presenting here, which is totally real. <laughs> and now, you know, there's, uh, you could, I don't, I guess there's fear, fear in their personal self, but other than that, there's no, you know, just straight on, just do, do what you do, whatever comes of it. But that part is laid aside, the, the fear part, because there's, Again, no room for it. You're too busy doing things, getting things done, and going into that unknown and in the, in the uh, invisible part of life. So it's really been cool to be on this this uh, adventure that Dwayne's providing for everybody because there's nothing like it. It's so unique and nothing like it at all in the world or ever as far as i see uh because it's always new now and we're always creating something that's uh you know makes sense with what's going on now and that's why it's it's so cool to be with this group i think it's all to do with your view the view that you take um i listened to Dwayne when i first started listening to it uh, when i first Came to the new presentation, can't remember exactly, 2016, 2017. But um, I listened to loads of what, I listened to loads and loads of stuff. And what it is, uh, Dwayne said it numerous times, your view, it's all about your view, excuse me. Like, you look at the sky and it's big. Well, you take the view, take the view that uh, you're bigger than the sky. And know that, and if you know that and you're in your awareness, and I know, I've, I, I, you know, it's opened up to me. I've, I've been on some fantastic. I've had some fantastic experiences. It's not about it's not about the experiences. We all know that. But if you want experiences, and it's that's you, you got to have that view. You got to have. You got it. You got to know. You got. You know. You got because what Dwayne says is, is spot on. It's all true as far as I can see, and as far as I can, it's, it, it's proven to me what he said. It's exactly the way it is. Um, yeah, if you if you take that view, you're bigger than the sky. Anything's possible, you know. Anything, Any, in your real awareness, anything. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't. I, when I'm out there, I don't really. I don't bother about if I'm upsetting uh, other people. You know, uh, it just it is what it is. If you meet these characters when you're out there, you can always deal with them. You know, the new the new you sound will always deal with them. It'll always they'll just disappear they live up in my experiences they've just i think one time i in my room when i was a uh, excuse me i was a bit troubled uh, i was seeing i was seeing them all i've seen all uh, the reptilians and that i don't know why i forgot 
But in the, each time I closed my eyes to go back to sleep, there was there again, there was there, and it was like, it was literally in my face. And that was probably the most frightening I've ever been, because I don't really get frightened about stuff. But with my wife was next to me, that's what I was a bit scared of. Not my wife, but just like, the old, the old scene, me in my bed. I was like, shot up out of it. I, I went to go sleep, and I seen, seen what I wanted to see. For, for always, you know, I've always wanted to see him. And then I seen him, I was showing him, but he got right in my face, and then he didn't go away. He was there for like 45 minutes. Or, and then like, I just thought, oh, I can't get sleepy. I thought, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to sing the sound. And I sang it, and it was gone. And if, ever, if I've ever been in trouble or ever feeling trouble on the real side, I sing it, and I'm gone. I'm back to my body, and I'm awake. And, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. No fear. There's no fear when I'm out there. I don't, I don't fear anything because I just think our capabilities, it is what it is. It's like Superman. You become like, we, through your awareness, you become like a, a, a super being, you know. The impossible is possible. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want to say. I remember the first time I sang New You was uh, before bed. It was the second day, I, second time I listened to a Skype call. and I woke up and it was just, uh, I didn't have any great experiences or anything, but it was a subtle, it was a very subtle something, a shift. And to me, those are the most meaningful. It's not the phenomena or the, or the uh, sensationalism, but the, the most real to me things are subtle. So this is a very, very subtle shift, and it was, it was so profound that, um, that, yes, this is real. This stuff is real. It wasn't like an experience. It was more like a... Just like a subtle um, recognition of something that had shifted. So that, to me, was real. And I continued on and I'm still continuing with it. It's just like Dwayne says, it's uh, it is subtle. There's, you, you, and you have to pay attention because it, it reveals itself in so many different ways. But yeah, and like, like you say about a shift, yeah, I had a, I had a shift the other week, and yeah, I was I was brought back into it because I, I don't know, I was just it was fantastic, and yeah, and it's not it's not the phenomena, it's a lot more than that. What it gives you, it gives you, I mean, I've always been very forth, forthright and like a positive person, anyway. You know, like the glasses are full instead of half empty. I've always looked at life like that, but it's not even that. It's it's hard to put it into words what it gives you, but like. I know. I think it, I think it's the knowingness. That's what I call it. That's what I've heard Dwayne call it. And yeah, it, it gives you that that there is there is more. You know, there's a lot, and you you go out and you get these experiences, and then you see that there is more than what we've ever known. And it's just it's just fantastic. It's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Val. Yeah. But yeah, it is. It is, it is very subtle when you you do. It comes to you in different ways. Like you can be doing anything, and it like someone will just pop up, and it'll be just bring you straight back. It brings you straight back round again. Yeah, and that that that's what it is for me. That's how it is for me, anyway. Yeah, it's that just that that uh, subtle. Uh, oh, I know. It was is my. It gave me an opportunity for my real awareness to see something more. The shift. So it was already there, but I just had to get that connection that connection with the new you you and then that that the real awareness is able to pick up on it and see it and then you know decide to go further with it which i have i don't see how people cannot um follow through on this it's hard for me sometimes to see that why would they would leave this because there's nothing else out there in the world no teacher or path or feeling or attitude or idea that can really, if you want to compare things, could, that can compare with this because it's so wonderfully unique and pure and sincere that there's, <laughs> where, where are you going to go? <laughs> you know, have a few thrills or something or whatever, but it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to be like this where you have an endless endless event, adventure and in, in, uh, life, real life, real purpose. 